Every step we've taken in Andro An expedition to Eos in the Pythia system has discovered a mysterious facility that authorities are calling a vault. Though not much yet is known about the underground structure, it's believed to be remnant in origin. Noted the sorry scientist, Pelisaria Basail. What we activated in the vault drastically improved the atmosphere on Eos. I'm sorry. This is HNS. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> The Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Ket. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder, but I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. We hear you loud and clear. Good. That will be all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later, in the tech lab. Sarah. You lied to me. You said Tad was alive. Oh, Sarah. Why? I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't jeopardize your recovery. Yeah, but... Delaying the truth? Meant I'd be here for you when you heard it. 
Where are all that's left, Scott? I know. But two riders are more than enough to take on this galaxy. You got a head start on me. What's this about you being a Pathfinder? Yeah, Dad's crazy idea of a joke. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. Oh, yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. Oh, oh who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine, but no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <laughs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <sighs> There's still hope for your mother. <laughs>
Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism, although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's Mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name, Elizabeth Riley. So this was Dad's plan? Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Now we know what G.N. Garson meant, that something big spooked the Benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. But why was Gian Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. Got it. I need to go find Mom. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primark Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. All instructions to follow on code and channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arbs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. 
I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. You are. Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, Mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E. R, are you saying? I saw Dad's last memory. E.R. is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's Mom. Oh my God. How is this possible? Dad loved her that much. He wouldn't give up. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action, his emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. Can't we cure her, Sam? It's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. But she's right here! How long do we have to wait? As long as it takes to perfect a cure. If her life or your father's means anything, we owe them that much. Sam's right. Give it time. We want to do this right. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together. Hang in there, Mom. We missed you.
Texas, visitors herald the vortex as a sign of civility and the opposite of civility as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is h &S. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. Its plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is up to you. I can handle it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with the job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative. 